Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. This is Andres from Trending ni Andres. Musta kayo? Sana mabuti kayo ha. Sana healthy healthy. Sana you staying at home and watching a lot of videos. Na, I have a lot of great videos on my channel nowadays. Uh, probably some you haven't seen yet. So why don't you take a few minutes and check out the other videos. It's not just about Manila City. Now, I'm trying to expand. I want to show you the progress of the entire Philippines and what's really happening, how it looked noon and how it looks nayon. And not only that, I want to show you what the future of the Philippines will be like. So guys, today I found another old video and this one is actually from the 1930s. Oh, the Kalkabe. That's a long, long time ago. So 1930s, and this is called the Voyage to Cebu, Philippines. 1930s. This is gonna be interesting. I was just in Cebu last December, no? For the YouTube Creator uh, Camp. And um, I hadn't been back to see in Cebu since, uh, when was this? Let's see. I think 1995? Yeah, I think so. There was the, wow, the city, I mean, it was amazing. It's changed so much from 1995 up till last year. And I can imagine uh, watching this video, we're gonna see Cebu cities in the 30s. It was before the Second World War. It must have been absolutely an amazing place, quiet place. Uh, I think it was, as far as I know, it's a pretty rich city, you know? And we see a lot of rich people like the Gokongways and the Boituses and the Luliers coming from Cebu. So um, I'm very excited to see this video. Let's start. Periscope film. Okay, that's a travel film, just like the other one I watched earlier, uh, a few days ago, The Screen Traveler. A Voyage to Cebu. Through an eastern inland sea to the oldest city in the Philippine Islands. And the first permanent European settlement in uh, the continent? I can't see what is in the Orient. Sorry, in the Orient. Okay, 1938, guys. Wow. Okay. In the year 1519, Ferdinand Magellan set sail from yeah. Spain in an attempt to go around the world. And sailing by way of the strait that bears his name at the extreme end of South America right. and thence across the Pacific, he discovered in March 1521, after a 19 month voyage, the Philippine wow. Islands. 19 months. An archipelago months. of some 7,000 islands which stretches yes. for over 1,000 miles between the Pacific Ocean and the China Sea. Okay. On April the 7th, he landed on the island called Cebu. Cebu. Upon okay. reaching a friendly agreement with the native chief and promising perpetual peace with his people, yep. he made them subjects of the King of Spain. Nineteen days later, while attempting to subdue another chief on the neighboring island of Mactan, oh, Mactan yes. Magellan was killed. By La Pulapu de After his death, the remainder of his men returned to Spain okay. by way of the Cape of Good Hope, and the first wow. voyage around the world I love those was boats. completed. Forty-three years later, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi headed another expedition over Magellan's route. Mm. He was one of founded at Cebu Manila City, and established no? the Spanish rule, right. which gradually spread and continued throughout the right. entire Philippine archipelago until the close of the Spanish-American War. Cebu, situated the in the very heart of the Inland wow. Sea, was an important trade center for ships from China and huh. Malaya centuries before even Magellan See, I came. Told you Cebu was and important. today, one of the three great ports of the Philippine Islands. Right. With wharves and quays presenting scenes of prosperous activity. The principal exports of the island are coconut products okay. and hemp. Coconut and hemp. Sacks of copra, the dried copra. meat of the coconut, right. are brought to the port <laughs> in small so island happy. vessels and transshipped huh? aboard steamers to all parts of the world for use in making soap and margarine. Oh, they use in soap, right. Okay. Wow, that's hard work. <laughs> They're all smiling. I like the boats, huh? So what is 
this? This is him. Yeah, I think that's him. The other important article exported is the world famous Manila hemp. Yes, Manila hemp. Universally preferred for ropes and hawsers for ships. Right. We learned that in school, I remember. Manila rope. Manila envelopes, do you remember those? Okay. Well, of course, they're not made of hemp. <laughs> it looks like a very the busy city. The city of Cebu is built along the shores of the harbor, which is protected from tropical storms and gales, okay. by the island of Mactan, right. where Magellan was killed. Right and stretches off toward the foothills of a mountain range that rises 3,600 feet above the sea. The streets and low houses still have much the appearance they had in the days of Spanish sovereignty. Oh, it looks so Though peaceful. the island has been under the American flag since 1898. So that's already 40 years. At that time, though. Wow, you see horse-drawn carts, huh? But oh, that's a bus, look at the bus. Okay, going out for a horse ride here, huh? Yeah, nice. Local taxis. Oh, look at the water buffaloes, huh? Wow. Did you see the horns on it? Amazing. Well, let's look at look at what they're wearing, huh? It's so different from today. I mean, look at the pants, right? Look at basically they're all wearing like you know white and khaki colors. Nice shirts, huh? Oh, look at the guy in the suit, white suit, huh? Yeah. Cebu is not only the site of the foundation of Spanish rule okay. in the Philippines, but it is also the oldest European settlement in the Orient. Yes, right, Within right. Within a kiosk in the plaza okay. is preserved the cross believed oh, to be that erected I was by there Magellan in December. on the spot where history yes, tells the cross us of the great Magellan. navigator landed. Before yes. it, the pious burned candles and offer prayers to his memory. Yeah, 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 I was there, no? It's a nice place, I like it, but they're so crowded, there's so many people. No? Okay, they have restored it since then, huh? You should watch my video from Cebu, huh? There are several historic churches in the city. One is the Church of San Augustine. Mm, I didn't have time to go the there. Famous Holy Child of Cebu. Okay. A wooden figure believed to have been given to converts by Magellan. Mm. The cathedral reminiscent of Spanish days, yes. is still the principal place of worship. The oldest street in the Philippines is Calle Colón, ah, yeah. Columbus Street. In the low houses, Calle the Colón. leading families of Cebu lived it's still in there the today, huh? At that time, it and was it's known so modern. as Carrion so or modern. Street. For nearly every family in it had at least one son in the priesthood. Oh really? That's how it was? I really like the way they dress, huh? I mean, look at the guy with the shorts and then a tuxedo on it. It's just so mind-blowing to see these old movies, huh? To see what things looked like before, huh? Oh, there's a guy on a bicycle. That's the first place I've seen. Fort San Pedro. Yeah, and Fort San Pedro. Founded by Legazpi in 1565. It's much smaller than I thought. on the site of the first permanent settlement in the east under the Spanish flag. Mm. The settlement was then called San Miguel. San Miguel. Later, okay. changed to the town of the holy name of Jesus. And finally given the original native name, Cebu. Cebu, okay. Today, the quiet old town has changed from a lazy, languorous Spanish outpost to a modern city under independent Philippine and protective American flag. Mm. American Each flag year, first and more then the Philippines. And more cargoes pass through the harbor into which Magellan sailed over 400 years ago, bringing with yeah, them the knowledge and that's advancement a nice ship. of the West. 
I wonder if that snake was navigation. The cradle of the Philippine nation. Maybe, maybe and not. And the great navigator, whose remains rest in the archipelago he found, did not live to accomplish his purpose. He was responsible hmm. for the discovery of a new route to the east and the first voyage around the world. Yes. Well, that was the end. That was a nice movie, a screen traveler picture. So, guys, of course, uh, again, he said like, yeah, um, Magellan was responsible for finding a new route to the to the east, you know, and well, it did open up a lot of uh, opportunities for lots and lots of people, lots and lots of countries, and of course, it made uh, Philippines under Spanish rule. But uh, of course, here we kind of see him as a uh, bad guy, no? I mean, Lapu Lapu is the hero, not not Magellan, no? And it also shows very well in that uh, cartoon movie that came out. I think it's a Spanish movie about um, Magellan who sailed around the world. And they're, they're showing a little bit, of course, of Magellan uh, arriving in the Philippines and got killed by Lapu Lapu, no? But uh, there's a lot of people in the Philippines who didn't really like that story because for us he's a villain while for the Spanish of course I mean he's a hero right so it depends on where you see it from and your standpoint and I guess it's always like that doesn't matter what you look at it depends on where you see it from right so guys I love this video uh, tell me have you ever been to Cebu if not tell me what is your province where are you from okay and guys do you know where I'm from? If not, well, I will tell you in one of these next episodes. In the meantime, you can always guess below, but put a comment and tell me where do you think I'm from. So, I'll see you in the next episode of Trending Niandres. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.